105, The Wolf, joining us right now. Good morning, you two. Good, Good morning. morning. Definitely Good. most people think, or a lot of people think, that the problem is Taylor Swift. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. So last night, Taylor Swift decided to wade into this year's election. Creating headlines of her own. Yeah, everyone was kind of wondering if she was going to weigh in this time around. She posted on Instagram just minutes after the debate wrapped up that she would be endorsing VP Kamala Harris. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know how much a celebrity endorsements truly mean to the candidates, but we have to look at the Taylor Swift effect. So remember in 2023 when she said, hey, everybody should register to vote. We saw 35,000 more people register to vote, which was a 23% increase in that day alone. And it was also over 115% of those people were like up. 18 and over wow. so i mean taylor does have some impact when she says to do something people normally do it yeah and and younger people which right. you know is is such the question mark in in every election are right. they going to turn out and vote who are they going to vote for mobilizing the vote the taylor switch effect you are saying that is very real um i believe that she probably felt more compelled to speak out this time because of the use of her image and likeness by the trump campaign which i mean ai is so forward everywhere mm -hmm. you kind of have to speak up for yourself she said the best way to combat that is with you know the truth and coming out and saying who she endorses yeah so um how much does a celebrity endorsement mean to a politician i guess it's really who knows but her endorsement i mean i'm sure it'll make some sort of splash yeah it'll be interesting to see you know uh, if if there is an impact and and polls you know typically take a couple weeks to kind of reflect an event so we don't know right now exactly what impact last night's debate will have but it is interesting that you know her one instagram post which at last check now has more than eight and a half million likes this morning uh is making just as many headlines as the actual, actual debate. presidential debate yeah, I think the main issue was, like, we weren't sure if she was officially going to endorse anybody. Like, a lot of people right. have been asking her for months of who she's going to choose and if she needs to throw her endorsement out there. And she finally did it. And I like that the emphasis at the end was basically to you have to register if you want to vote. So I right. think that the message is also register to vote as well. Register to vote, which, by the way, we'll take the opportunity to mention that is by October 15th. If you live in Oregon to either register to vote or change or update your registration. If you live in Washington, you have until October 28th to register by mail. But you can also register and update your registration day of on Election Day in person, in person, which is November 5th, Election Day, November 5th. Put that on your calendars. So, I mean, the, the one point that I think we can all agree on is that you want to make your voice heard. Register to vote and vote. And that if you're the biggest pop star in the world, anything you do, even an Instagram post, will be, we'll be headline about news the next, the next day. day. Yeah, yeah exactly. I just, want, I just want one thing I say to get heard that many times. Like, <laughs> although at the end of the day, I don't know if I want anybody. I was no, going to say, you don't I, want the media I want that. Like, if I'm heard by that many people, it's probably not good. All right. <laughs> yes, Thank true. you both so much. We'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you guys. Right. For more trending topics, catch Nick and Kristen weekdays on 99.5 The Wolf. And keeping our eye on entertainment, Larry David coming to the Rose City this November.